Peace family. Okay, so this head came to me to talk about this, okay? I remember I had several abortions, okay? And um I don't say that like proud. Um but one of the things that I'm going to say is everything shows up in our lives, right? And if you don't take accountability, and start sort of putting the puzzle pieces together and start becoming aware, you would just miss the whole lesson. And so some of the things that I had to start accepting was that I wasn't showing up. Not my name, not, you know, who my my parents um, named me or anything like that. I wasn't showing up as my real self. And I was <clears throat> looking for things in the wrong places, okay? Because I didn't necessarily care for myself at that given time. And so some of the things you have to understand is there's no good and bad to whatever it is that you do, okay? Now, I know some, you know, some is going to argue with that, and that's okay. That's their perception. But there's no good or, I mean, there's no, there's no um right or wrong, okay? Because somebody else's right to them could be wrong to you, okay? But it is for you to start seeing how you showing up how is this impacting your life? Okay. I could have done many things. Mama. I could have not messed with the people who I was messing with. But how would I have not done that if my whole object objective was for me to get in a relationship and for me to find love outside of myself? And so... Some of the things that I start understanding was definitely everybody who shows up in our lives are reflectors of us. And if I don't like or if I don't accept certain parts of me or if I'm not responsible, um, you know, those things are going to show up in other people. They just don't reflect back to me exactly how I'm showing up. And so instead of me having abortions, what can I do? Okay. I cannot give my body to a person that, um, you know, I feel as though may not have anything to offer. And when I say offer, I'm not just talking about financially. I'm talking about spiritually, emotionally. Okay. Financially too. Okay. But why get into something, you know, that you can prevent, right? And so instead of me being in a rush, like, oh, well, I want to just jump into, you know, a relationship, you know, because I need to be in one. I started, I took a break, okay? I took a break. And so much so, I started questioning myself, like, you know, Dina, are you, you taking a break from relationships or are you scared? You know, this, this is some of the conversations I have, I tend to have with myself. And the only way you are going to stop getting those results is if you start looking at why you do them in the first place. Now, I tell you guys all the time, right? Our parents did the best that they knew how to do. And it's not going to really serve you too much by keep on blaming them. And it doesn't necessarily matter too much like where you got the behavior from. What matters more so is what are you going to do about the way you are showing up? Because your life will never change if you don't change. Oftentimes, you know, 
people tend to want different, right? Sort of like you put on a new outfit without taking a shower. You put on, on a brand new outfit. I need this outfit bad. You just got this outfit, okay? You put on this new outfit. You don't take your shower. You just put this new outfit on. And you feel like, you know, damn, I'm going to look bad in this. I'm, I'm going to look good, okay? But you have this stench. You have this odor to you. And just because you put the new outfit on, that does not stop anything or stop that funk that you may be smelling like or stop that odor, okay, that you got going on with yourself. The key was never to put the new outfit on without washing, okay? It was for you to wash and then put the clothes on. So you get what I'm saying? And this is not for the people that's, um, you know, so holier than thou. <laughs> this is for the people that may be growing through something. And I will use the things that I've been through. And I always have since I, you know, started doing lives and um, showing up on social media, doing videos. I always have used my testimony because what I feel is that... By me sharing my testimony, perhaps it may do something for someone else. And so with that being said, I love you guys.